Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you can see there, the US 30 is still floating around this level. We're in about 16,700 after punching through there on Monday. It's kind of been pretty static the last two sessions and we're looking at two flat candles for uh, yesterday and again today. And there are a few bits of economic data coming out today, but nothing major from what I can see so far. We'll come back to that in a second. The UK 100 uh, had quite a volatile session yesterday, selling off uh, when it was trading above potential um, resistance at 68.74 didn't quite break an all-time high but it was it was within a point I think of actually um, breaking up through this high point here of last February we're on the wrong side of that potential resistance right now so there's a little bit of uh, pressure there in the very short term looking at things intraday on my other screen uh, I can actually see that there's a little bit of a struggle to push on today so things kind of um, just slowly kind of grinding lower in some markets but we'll come back to that in a minute the Japan 225 um, unable to break past that 55 period SMA or this kind of longer term potential downtrend here. Um, as time goes on, you're probably looking around about 14,500 uh, for us to go ahead and have a look at. But we're a long while away from there at the moment. And if we actually uh, continue to then have a look at um, dollar yen, uh, dollar yen, similar uh, picture right here, that 55 period SMA uh, proving to be a little bit of a struggle as the uh, dollar seems to give up the... Um, give up the game against uh, some of the other FX pairs. We're going to show you cable and your dollar in a second. Cable in particular has had a very strong reversal and there is some big UK data due out later on today as well. So this is the level to look at. Uh, we're slap banging the little two ranges there on dollar yen. So nothing too much exciting to report on there. Um, West Texas crude, however, has uh, continued to surprise. One minute it's selling off, next minute it's aggressively moving higher. Um, we're coming up quite close to potential resistance at 103. And today is Wednesday, which means crude oil inventory is due at 3.30 UK time. And uh, there's obviously some positive momentum here. This is a very bullish uh, candlestick pattern to have. Um, but we are yet to break through that 103 level. Uh, but you never know, we might get there later on today. Gold's been pretty much not doing a huge deal. While it continues to trade below 12.95, you know, we've talked about this level for a long period of time now. It still remains strategic. And a close above or below this in a meaningful manner uh, should help give it some direction. Now, if we move on to euro dollar, this chart still looks absolutely horrible, uh, but we pretty much closed bang on the level yesterday at 37.10. Um, we need a meaningful close above or below this level today to help give it its next direction. Um, but as I said, the dollar has kind of rolled over a little bit against some a basket of other currencies um, today, so there is a little bit of pressure on uh, euro dollar. So I, I don't think this is euro strength, this is more dollar weakness that's caused that, that spike up today. And um, if we look at cable, it's not done it yet, but it's close, close to posting a bullish engulfing pattern, uh, which hopefully means we might rechallenge the next potential resistance at one spot 69.23 at some point soon. But that's very dependent on how this economic data goes on. So this is what we've got to do. We've got unemployment data due at 9.30. Um, that is of a, a high impact level. Uh, to look at for the markets and then you've got your crude oil inventories as i mentioned today at 3 30. make sure you set your alert, your alarms for those and your alerts if you are a crude oil trader there could be some opportunity there uh, should the figures come out higher than expected or not as high as expected inventories just now are at a record high actually uh in general so there has been a lot of pressure on the fundamentals of crude but it certainly spiked up there yesterday now that pretty much brings us to an end of that for today you have to have fast forward on to tomorrow uh, to see if we've got anything else bigger. We've got uh, German GDP, uh, Eurozone CPI, and um, US CPI and US jobless claims, and then the Philly Fed number. So quite a lot of economic announcements due out on Thursday to look forward to. Keep your eye on the chart for them. Lots of really good analysis on here from our global analyst team. And make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward. As ever, this is the inside track from our global team as to what's moving the markets today. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.